I have a motion to accept the min? Oh, sorry, we have to do roll call attendance. Excuse me. I'll just go across my screen. I'll rename Rihanna. <laughs> I don't know why it's under my husband's name. I'm like sitting here trying to figure that out. Like, why? Why? It's like, never happened. <laughs> when you signed in, I was like, who is that? And then I figured it out. All right. <clears throat> so roll call attendance. I'll just go across my screen. Brianna. Oh, I misspelled your name. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Either way. Okay, great. Uh, Sharon Parsons. Sherry, can you hear us? Yeah, you couldn't hear me? No, now I can. All right, you're here. Uh, e Dragon. Hello. Good evening. Courtney Meyer. Here. Mary Carney. Here. And I, Diane West, am here, and I'm hoping Irene will hop on, but not sure. <clears throat> All right. Do I have a motion to accept the minutes from the September 24th meeting? All right. Motion to by accept. Dragon. Second. Do I have a second? Sorry. Second. Thank you. Uh, roll call vote again. Brianna? Yep. Sherry? I'll come back to you. Dragon? Yep. Courtney? Yes. Mary? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Excellent. And I vote yes too. Motion carries. Thank you, everybody. <clears throat> All right. The purpose of this meeting is to prepare for our preservation plan summary day. Uh, Brianna, are we able to do it in November? So I just ran by the 16th. Um, since that was the date we all agreed on with Chris mm -hmm. and he says he is unfortunately working out of town that day he said that was like one of the only days he didn't have so um, I don't know if there's another date that's going to work for everybody or what we want to do okay I would ultimately really like everyone to be there and I know Sherry originally said that November didn't work for her so as much as I don't want to push it off until spring um, I think that might be more advantageous to make sure we are very prepared and everyone can come so do we want to look at dates in march i think that's a good idea diana do you have an idea of when you are planning on leaving us my term's up uh june 30th <clears throat> oh not until june why was i panicking thinking it was like february <laughs> that's when the fiscal year turns over so that's when they like all start and stop I feel even if you now. didn't join at that time I feel like that was good news today <laughs> so we, have, <laughs> okay, good. we have more time okay um yeah I March is everybody in agreement that they probably have dates in March that will work yeah. as long as it's early March okay how early uh, is early Sherry I'll be away the last week of March. Okay. And when I'm, is Easter? Easter's at the end of April. It's late this year. Oh, it's late again. <clears throat> I will uh, also, um, I will be away. Uh, I'll be in Canada for like a week and a half in March as well. But it's, I think, towards the end also. I'm available. Uh, we're thinking Saturdays in March, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So there's actually um, five Saturdays in March. It's one of those nice long ones. Um, so I don't know, hearing Brianna, your trip and stuff and, and Sherry's, like the first, the eighth and the 15th are the first three Saturdays. Would we want to give um, like three dates to Chris? I'm hearing his name correctly for uh, to see what might work for him or what. I, I don't know. I'm new here. Cherry, when are you going away in March? Do you um, have the dates? Yep, the last week, 26th. The 26th, okay. So we could potentially, well, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check when my trip is. Um, but I can pitch the first three Saturdays to him. Just to respond. I haven't responded to his email yet. He just got back to me the other day. Um, so I can respond to him and ask him if he has any dates then. And we were all totally opposed to December, right? Just with holidays and everything like that. 
what's going on busy in December yeah sure. I think it would be crazy okay um so I will ask him about those is there another month that we want to consider just in case we can't make it work or should I aim for asking for those dates and see what he says um I think I was thinking we would push it until at least March just thinking of sunlight and um the weather and hoping that we would get a nice day that had lots of sunlight and um then we wouldn't have to think about a postponement date so i mean after that i think we would probably be thinking beginning of april but i'm hoping with the three options this will work okay great well then i can um pitch in those three dates and hopefully everybody is available i'll double check my travel dates um because okay, i'm i'm worried that they <laughs> might be that third saturday but um they need to double check and there, there is a caveat that i have i i will not know when the next trial is um i probably won't know until a month out um so i can only tell you what i have open now okay does it make sense at all to look at a weekday or do we definitely want to stick with the weekend? For those well, I think, work, yeah, for many of us, you would yeah. have to take a day off from work and that just wouldn't really work. No, you don't want to do that. Okay. <clears throat> and there's not really any good holidays in that time oh, yeah. frame that we could try to hit, so. Okay, well, then I will email him about those possible dates, and um, hopefully if Irene has any conflicts, she can let me know, because I know she travels quite a bit, mm -hmm. so um, I'll pitch him those dates and see see what he has available, and um, it, seem, it seemed like he has fairly open availability, although when he does work, you know, it's in many different towns in Massachusetts, so I think, yeah. you know, when he's away, he's away, because these seem mm -hmm. to take a long time, so hopefully... Hopefully it's far enough out that he will have those available. Okay. So um, I tried to send her on a spreadsheet earlier. Courtney said I didn't send it. And then I tried to send it again. So I don't yeah, know if it I worked. Yeah. Um, so I. I can't uh, open so, it. I... Okay. I'll share my screen and show you what guys, what I did. So. Um, Irene had originally organized this by year, which makes sense for the plaque project, but then I wanted to organize it by location. So I re-downloaded it and it came out by location, which was great. And then I pulled things out and I tried to organize them by places around town. And so... Uh, some of these names aren't really ones we use anymore, but the old timers will recognize them. Uh, so like center of town, uh, like think West Street, Middle Street, East Street, anything in that environs, uh, Route 9. And then some of these we're going to have to combine probably. So what I'm thinking is that we will each take one of these sections of town and um make sure that this list is complete, determine if there are um, resources on it that are no longer there, uh, determine what's missing. Um, and that's mainly what I'm thinking our homework will be in leading up to this day with Chris. Um, <clears throat> I also did sort out anything past 1960. So we have not concluded like what sort of our cutoff point is. I know numbers of 70 years ago to 100 years ago were thrown around. So um, 70 years ago would be 1954. So I just rounded up to 1960 to be nice and even as probably we're looking at a project that's going to take us next couple of years anyways. Uh, so I can continue to work on this list to um, combine some because like there's not a lot of what I've considered talking them, so we can probably combine Lawrence Plain Road with that. Hertzbrook is also not very big, whereas center of town is huge. 
and um, probably can combine Fort River with Hartsbrook. And then the North Hadley ones, um, I have three different North Hadley ranges. So this is just the North Hadley one. It's pretty big. And then Russellville um, and Plainville. And oh, lastly, well, there was some in U at UMass that like some of these, I couldn't find this road. I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I just separated out the UMass ones. I'm sorry. Did you have a question? Yeah. Question just for a point of clarification. Uh, row 564 is Hooker Elementary School. So are we recognizing buildings that are no longer with us as well kind of a thing? I'm just not, just point of clarification. Um, what list are you looking at right now, Dragon? Oh, sorry, the inventory list. Okay, so the one I emailed? Yeah. All right, so that's different than what I have right, open right now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so that would be part of our homework would be to go through the list that we get, we sign up for, and to identify what is no longer there okay so that would right. be hooker elementary school okay um because a lot of this dates back a while <laughs> like i think 30 40 years was when this originally started to be compiled so we're going to have things that aren't up to date um another thing about this list that can be a little frustrating is it was created before we changed the street numbers after we put in 911. So West Street, East Street, Middle Street are going to have the old house numbers, not the new ones, where they restarted at 100 for each of the south ends of those streets. So, so that's when also we, a little bit when we of do our, detective work. Yeah, so when we do our homework, that'll be part of like our assignment, right? And we'll get mm -hmm. a gold sticker and a grade for it. <laughs> when we have to, if you would kidding. like. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. just noting, um, the Horton house, I don't know whose house that is. Um, mm -hmm. totally not mine. Uh, it just says Maple street. I'm not sure if that's on your list, but it should be, just be Maple Ave. Yeah. So some things are also not completely yeah. accurate with this. Okay. So that's another thing we'll just have to think about. Um, and yeah, so they've been named often by who the original owner was or by the most famous person famous person who lived in the house so yeah so there'll be a lot of names that we might not recognize don't know so um there are a lot of street numbers too which is helpful but again there's is going to take some detective work and um now we have lots of time to work on it <laughs> i don't know if that's helpful or harmful <laughs> Um, so I can work on breaking this down if everyone is willing to take on one section. There's six, there's seven sure. of us. There's seven of us. <laughs> so I think we should be able to do that. Um, there was another one they had listed as South Branch Road. There is a North Branch Road. It's the road to the dump. Can't find a South Branch Road. So another mystery there. Um. So a couple of them that I think, and some roads I split up based on where I think borders are, but then other ones like Rocky Hill and Huntington, like I'm not even like really what parts of town we would classify those as. So I threw them in Plainville. It was pretty small. So why not? Um, so any questions about this? Um, I no? guess I will say that for me it'll probably be easier to do the area closest to where I live just because I have the little kids and driving around I can mm -hmm. um sort of do this more easily so I don't know if that's how we want to split it up like I don't know who lives where but closest to where we are yeah in Hadley if that works so um five people four people I know how to do math live in the center of town so <laughs> someone's gonna have to give up there yeah I, spot. <laughs> I'll go wherever I don't care with okay. my new work schedule I'm more flexible Thanks, so Dragon. I'm willing to take that on plus it'll be really fun <laughs> I'm excited um so uh Brianna definitely I can work with that no problem um I think you're the only one who lives up that way anyways but some of us will have to go out a little bit outside of our comfort zones probably yeah um, I'm, I'm happy to take plain villas like super close and then you know like a section of north hadley or something like that because i know the yeah. north hadley ones are huge but um like anywhere in mount yeah. warner 
type areas easy for me perfect thank you uh okay what else do we need to do to be preparing for this maybe oh. um oh sorry go ahead that's okay i just i just wanted to summarize what we need to do so we're so we're looking we're each getting a list and we are seeing what buildings are there uh what buildings are not there that are listed and then what's not listed but is there what is not listed but exists in real life Flash okay. also updating the information right if there's yes. like new addresses or whatever mm -hmm. okay um, I was going to say, in terms of what else we need to do, I think probably we should all compile a list of questions. If there's just a list, we can send around and we can add questions to it. Um, maybe based on, especially like while we're doing this research, based on what we learn, if we have questions about any of the things that we encounter on our way, and if we don't have enough history about them or whether they're valuable or not, just kind of like have a running list of questions. I think I can help set up the spreadsheet so people know what their homework is, but also identifying what on the list is privately owned and what is town owned or organizationally owned, like either by a company or a nonprofit kind of deal. Cause I think that <clears throat> it sort of, um, what's the word I want? It really informs, um, how we move forward with different properties. I think another question, and maybe this is going too far down the rabbit hole, but you know, if we just kind of like know for sure whether or not a place has had really significant um, renovations or not would determine mm -hmm. the historical value of the home based on like a historical or like a um, demolition delay bylaw, that type of thing. So if we know that it's like exactly as it was when it was built, that might be something good to consider. Although it shouldn't make any difference in whether or not they get a plaque. No, that's... Yes, I agree. Yeah, so what I remember together was for the plaque project, um, and this dovetails with that, but um, I think right now we're really making this inventory of everything we have, and then the plaque project is different from that. Is there anything else we need to think of in terms of like logistics in terms of getting around or how we want to do rides or how we want to set up the day and where we want to meet afterwards, that type of thing? Mm -hmm. So we probably should book a room. I don't know, like, does the, the library has some meeting rooms we could book or the senior center? Because mm -hmm. um, it has to be somewhere public since we are meeting as a commission. Um, so that's probably where we want to start and end. So library or senior center is a good place because they have that nice parking lot now. And then depending on how many people we get, so I'm hoping the seven of us and Andy has, of course, expressed deep interest in joining us. So eight plus Chris is nine. So probably two to three cars. Um, I threw out the idea of a bus at the CPA meeting and they were like, Renting a van or anything is out of the question, I guess, <laughs> unless somebody wanted to donate that to us. Um, so I Would think, the, yes. Am I hallucinating? The senior center, they don't have a bus anymore, right? They only have the Subaru car. They used to have, they have like a mini like a van. bus seat, van-y thing. Would they possibly be like palatable? Would that be something to look into? Maybe they like sharing a lot, but <laughs> I guess. Do you need Wouldn't a special license to drive it? I don't uh, know. I think so. Okay. Is this like a fifteen passenger van or like a mini PVTA bus? I don't have yeah. have the answer of that. Yeah. I just have never seen it, so I don't know what to think. Um, in terms of like an action item, do, do should could I reach out to the new senior center director and just see if that would be an option and how big it is and kind of if it would be a thought for them? Would that be helpful? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. 
Okay. okay. I recommend talking to Jane first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that was the plan. Yeah. She, the director is much more amenable once Jane's on board. Mm -hmm. Well, she's new. She's learning. I may also just look into how much it would. Sorry, children. I may, <laughs> I may also look into um, just seeing how much it would cost, you know, like there's Valley Transport or places like that, how much it would cost to rent a place for the day I don't, or a van for the day. I don't know how long the day is actually going to be, whether it'll be eight hours or 10 hours or like I have no, I'll ask, that's probably a good question to ask Chris. I'll ask him how long he expects the day to be um, just to get an idea of how much it would cost for us to do that because I feel like it would be a lot easier on everyone if we didn't have to all carpool or drive but I don't know what your thoughts are on that we'll all be in the same vehicle talking together um sharing thoughts because I don't know like if what he expects in terms of starting and stopping places mm -hmm. and of course at a lot of these houses being residential there's not safe places to park or anything like that and we'll need to think about probably a midway stopping point for lunch. What that looks like. Barstow's. <laughs> we'll just roll up to Barstow's. Works for everyone, I think, right? So um, did you ask specifically about school buses? I'm thinking about Memorial Day when they drive everybody around from cemetery to cemetery. Is that not an option? Um, they really balked at the idea when she was like, oh, and you know, we, we thought maybe we could get a bus or whatever. And everyone was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> apparently CPA money cannot be used for buses. It was really funny. Actually. They were all like, oh my God, <laughs> never. I, I remember hearing that the, um, support for busing for the parade is, is diminishing each year, if I can say that. So it was like only the veterans that got busing this past year. So I don't, I, I, I don't have a lot of faith in that avenue anymore compared to like 10 years ago when we could call Dennis Pip and he'd just like pick up a bus and like meet us, you know, like swing on by Dennis. Yeah. I used to have quite a few just old time, you have the residents who were bus drivers and now they unfortunately either retired or passed away so we just don't have that crew anymore we can call on although i'm sure trish pip would teach any of you how to drive a bus if you um volunteered she offered that to me once and i was like I i'm good thank you trish off i called it the wrong name um all right so how long the day is going to be midway stopping point somewhere for lunch uh, hopefully we can rent a van to drive us all around. Um, what else? Are there any other? How many is like all of us? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. How many no, is all of us? Potentially nine. Okay. Yep, so this... most passenger vans are eight at the most. Yep. Right of all seven of us come plus Andy Morris Friedman plus Chris no well that would be a reason for telling Andy Morris Friedman he'd have to drive himself remember this is just a recorded meeting no but I'm just saying that I yeah I know it's just that um if we can if if somebody has an eight seat passenger van that would be the easiest way to do it I mean, I'm I'm not saying I don't want to come. Obviously, I, I would have as many people come as could. But in terms of us all being in the same vehicle, mm -hmm. we could always say um, historical commission only in the van, and then whoever else wants to come can follow us yes. and are are welcome to join us. What I meant. <laughs> okay. Let's explore the bigger van options, and then we can um, explore those other options. Because I would really like to be inclusive with this and in be encouraging of other people. I know he'd also talked about um, Alex possibly coming to videotape mm -hmm. the whole tour. So that could also throw a wrench in that plan. Um, but I don't know if he's even available on a Saturday or what that would look like. I mean, he works mm -hmm. for the town. So you would assume that this would be part of his jurisdiction, mm -hmm. but I just don't know how that works. Yeah, he's 
usually really great about covering events on weekends, but also I fear he overextends himself significantly and doesn't have um, that much staff help to fill in the gaps. So I think it's worth an ask. It'd be wonderful if you could come and film the whole thing. Of course, I don't know how you um, then summarize eight to 10 hours worth of filming into something other people want to watch. Um, but he's the professional, so hopefully he can do that. Um, so it's definitely worth an ask and to invite him. And then I think we get what we get. Is there anything else in terms of logistics anyone can think of about the day other than what we've talked about? Um, I mean, I, you know, in talking to Chris, I'm hoping to get kind of more of a sense of how that would actually work because it's a lot to fit into one day driving around all of Hadley. Like Hadley is pretty large and there's a lot. Um, we have a lot of resources here. And so I wonder if it's like we drive to the most significant ones or we kind of just tour the streets that are important or we go by our list and see what he thinks that way. Like, I'm, I'm just not sure how it works. So is, is there an other than trying to figure out like and nail down actual logistics that we've already talked about in terms of how the day is going to work? Is there anything else like questions or anything that anyone can think of? Yeah, I think we should definitely make a route. And um, also it would probably be advantageous for us to have a planning meeting with Chris so that we're all on the same page and we all have the same expectations going into it. So is Chris going to be sort of leading us in certain areas? I know you just said making a map, but like, I guess I still don't entirely understand what we're doing with this project. That's kind of how okay. I feel. I want to, <laughs> I want to talk to him and just be like, how does the day work step by step? Like his preservation plan summary, one page like goes over, you know, we do the tour and then we have a meeting to discuss. And then he sends up a follow-up with all the stuff. And potentially we have a, you know, a meeting after that to go over any follow-up questions. Um, but in terms of the actual day, I definitely would love to talk with him more about how it actually works and just tell them like we're looking into vans we're looking into doing all this stuff and like how should we best prepare ourselves because I don't feel like we have I have no, <laughs> I have no idea. even like doing the whole um proposal I still don't really have a great understanding of like how the day works minute by minute so I'll find that out yeah yeah because I, I I wasn't sure if he he was going to sort of show us where the most important historical locations are in Hadley or if we're showing him and then he's going to pick the ones that he thinks are most important I just I don't really I don't get it my guess is that he probably wants to go over what we have now like where our historic districts are and what could be made into you know a local historic district or work towards I don't know if we have enough resources to work towards a demolition delay bylaw which we know that we do and um kind of see what's out there I mean he knows Hadley fairly well I think already so that's works to our advantage but then yeah. like see what's out there and then just let us know how he thinks we should best proceed overall and like where our um I don't know where we should head as a commission but in terms of cataloging the resources I also don't know for me I'm not, <laughs> I really have no idea like is he gonna tell us like this tree is really important like I just don't <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. So I'll ask him an email. And then um, I had briefly mentioned to him um, us talking about open meeting law in terms of our meeting afterwards and whether we had to tell everyone that we need to come, whatever. And he kind of was like, well, let's nail down a date and then we'll discuss things further. So I think he, in his emails, a couple of emails we've had back and forth, he, he said things like, blah, 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 like, let's make sure we do this after town meeting. So I think he's like a little bit nervous that it's not going to pass a town meeting, even though I think we all feel like it is, but I think he doesn't want to count his eggs before they hatch kind of thing, or chicken before they hatch. Yeah. Okay, so do we want to invite him to see if he's available to come to the November meeting to talk to us? Or do we want to focus on other business in November and have him come in January? 
that would give us more time to kind of go through those houses that we think are important and right. determine which ones we think are important, I think. All right, Brenna, when you reach out to him, can you also ask if he's available to come on November 19th to talk to us? Yeah, I can. Uh, do we have a, a meeting date for January yet? Because I can ask him about both days since it seems like he might be out of town in November for um, parts of that. So I just want to make sure I can ask him for both. We don't so. have a meeting set for January yet, but we could talk about that right now. Okay. Um, we would probably be looking at January 21st or 28th. I can do both. I can do both as well. The 21st is my birthday, so I'm a little bit anti having a meeting. <laughs> That's totally fair. Do you want to just do the 28th then? How does that work for Mary and Sherry? Works for me. I, as far as I know, it'll work for me. I don't know when the DAR meeting is that month. That's the only thing I was thinking about. Yeah, I think that'll be fine for me as well. far enough away that if we need to make a change we can uh, address that and okay. i will sacrifice and come on my birthday if i have to <laughs> we, we no one that. will make you do that brianna <laughs> it's all right it's all right once you're past like 21 nobody really cares about your birthday anymore anyway so but your kids do your kids will well my daughter's birthday is two days before so hers trumps mine now like there's no way my birthday matters <laughs> all yeah, anymore. My, my here Let's see. Okay. So I'm um, just writing notes down here. If he, can he come to those days and does he have availability in March? Um, anything else we want to ask him when I'm shooting this email to him, other than the qu questions we originally had, which he seems to be waiting to answer until after town meeting. Yeah. He can just give us, I guess he wants to wait until after town meeting, but like a more detailed agenda of the day. Okay. And like, if he has homework for us beyond what we're already thinking about. Perfect. If he wants to wait till after town meeting, that only leaves one Saturday and that's the Saturday after the 14th that I could do anyway. So it's just as well that we moved it to March. Yeah, I think it gives us more time to catalog everything anyway. Because if the macros is so outdated, then it's probably a good thing for us to go through everything. That way we're not wasting time with him. Like, you know, there's only so much time in a day where we have to drive around. So if we're already like ahead of the game, it's a good idea. And I'm really thinking like anything beyond eight hours is probably too much. Yeah. Like, I think that's an exhausting day. I mean, that's typically a work day, but if we're actively doing something the whole time, it's going to deplete like, our energy. I think something good would be if we could do like, let's say three hours, break for lunch for an hour, do like another three hours and then like meet for an hour afterwards. It's probably a good breakdown. I mean, I'll see what he says. Maybe he has this whole workup that he has everything timed perfectly, but who knows? It seems like, a lot of things that he has to do for like not <laughs> much money but I don't know <laughs> like I don't know I don't know how you know it feels it sounds like a deal to me let's put it that way so maybe he has this whole set like work up thing that he already does maybe he kind of has it all put together mm -hmm. so it's not as much work on his end but um I will be very interested to see what he has to say about that and we did um ask for a little bit extra so if we yeah. need to have sort of a follow-up meeting with him which i'm kind of seeing us doing um we do have that funding to be able to pay him for that as well i think it's a good buffer yeah so we'll all have to chip in for lunch or do a potluck Not open yet, so I think we can afford it. 
yeah but we'll okay. we'll be on will we be on the road that long i mean if we start at like nine that's three hours of on the road i think that isn't that a bit much no yes I, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if there's going to be starting and stopping. I I mean, Hadley is pretty good sized if we're going to drive every street. <laughs> like, it's a journey. Yeah, I mean, I figure if we if we have, you know, Barstow's as a destination in mind to make it to, because I mean, Hockenham's like pretty important in terms of historical stuff. Um then we could head that way and then like turn around and come do the loop back up towards like North Hadley or something or, or we want to start at the top and <laughs> go down one side and then go back up the other. Like, I don't know what the best map is. <laughs> yeah. Zigzagging all the way down. I don't know. We'll see what he says. I mean, at least he worked at UMass so he knows the area. So like maybe he will have some sense of what the best route is to take. else we can think of that we need to talk about right now in regards to this any questions people already have i guess i'll ask okay. um who's planning on going to town meeting i was hoping to be there so i'm talk. i'm also hoping to be there hoping but i'm unsure about child care stuff I'm in they the same boat. To, they don't do child care anymore at town meeting. No, we've um I'm part of the fundraising committee for the Hadley Elementary Playground um that just opened a couple of weeks ago. Um <clears throat> and I don't know if it's appropriate, but um the, we applied for more funding for the playground through CPA. And so um I did bring up that it would be really helpful to have child care there because there's really not a lot of young people who go to town meeting. Um, so it'd be great to bring more people in and get them more engaged in town. But that hasn't gone anywhere yet. Um, so... I'll, I'll send an email out to Ruth Ann Fitzgibbons, who's a teacher at Hopkins, um, because different organizations at Hopkins used to provide that time for um, their volunteer service. So I'll, I'll throw oh, one out. Yeah. I'll send her an email to do that. Yeah, that's always my hard spot is it's always right at bedtime for my kids. Yeah. So then the bedtime has to either get extended, which is always a nightmare for someone who's mm -hmm. watching them, or I have to yeah. try to put them to bed really early, which doesn't work either. So it's just like a really tough time for me right now with the baby. reached out about the the pre-forum that I had to do last I didn't have to do I was invited to do last time um which was a meeting not really a meeting but an opportunity to go before the select board and it was also recorded and I think live streamed for anybody to come that just like further explained why we were asking for CPA funding okay. um I think I got an email about that I think it's on the 6th no one but I definitely can't go on the six. I'm gonna be at a work conference. Um but I can send remarks if anybody else wants to read them. I'm uh, thinking I won't even in town on the six, so I can't yeah. The six. yeah, it is the six at seven PM senior center and on Zoom. Um since it's such a nominal amount, I really don't think people are gonna quibble about it. Um, so I'm, I'm really not worried. I can try to go to whatever it is you're talking about. I'm not hundred percent sure what we're talking about. <laughs> so you, so what happens is, um, it's set up like a select board meeting. Um, it's in a much smaller space, um, and you're invited to come up to a microphone and just, um, explain your project. And, um, I don't think anyone asked me any questions. I you can think... ask questions there. Okay. I... Where Where is this? 
It's the at the senior school? center. Oh, okay. Um, I think maybe Randy Iser just uh, commended the project and that was it for me. But I don't remember. I just remember that I got my pages mixed up and then I didn't end on a high note like I wanted to. If you didn't end on a high note, I like hate to imagine <laughs> what mine would like. You want to talk about my nightmare, then that, that would be it. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I can, if you, if you want to let me know details about that, Diana, I can try to make that work so somebody can be there. Well, I don't even have details about it. So. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> when, yeah, when we get probably should contact stuff. you about it. <laughs> okay. When do, if, and when details arrive, keep me posted and I can try it's just like the 7 p.m meetings are just so rough with kids is it on the town website I feel like nothing's ever on the town website in terms can of I just calendar say that, um, and it does not like the Hadley website it tells me it's unsafe oh that happens to me too doesn't like it it's not inspiring especially since we had a session at work today about being safe on the internet and not opening suspicious emails and clicking links. Well, it's not on the calendar yet. <laughs> um, yeah, surprise, I got an email. Surprise. It was one of those automated emails today. I just forwarded the email to today. Diana. Perfect, yeah. It doesn't have much information. <laughs> Yeah. Also, Sherry, I just have to say I love your Northern Lights background. We're like repping mm. the Northern Lights situation we've been having. Did you guys all see that the other night? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10. That was amazing. Uh -huh. Did you guys see them with the naked eye or was it just through your phone filters? Because well, I didn't see it with my naked eye. It was eye. insane naked eye. here wow. in North really Hadley. Cool. It was nuts. It was amazing. The whole sky was pink. Was it really looked cool. fake. I was like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what in the Matrix is happening here? It's like so unexpected to have them here. It went as far south as North Carolina. I've seen footage on Facebook of it, of somebody who posted it in, in North Carolina. So hmm. apparently it's supposed to keep happening maybe through 2026 I was reading because of some solar storm. So I hope it comes back again because that was like the coolest bucket list thing ever. See the northern Honest. lights in the backyard. It's like the best. I, I posted it on the Hadley page and some people thought I was off my rocker. <laughs> <laughs> You're using AI to create some northern lights images over there. Yeah. No, I just said that it was supposed to be happening, that people should watch for it. Tonight and tomorrow night is supposed to be the best time to see the comet that's coming through. Oh, yeah, that won't be back for 80,000 years, yeah. apparently. Okay, so topic at hand, anything else we can think of right now? And um, we do now have plenty of time to be thinking about this. Um, I, I just think we have more questions than answers and hopefully that can get straightened out at this point. Yes, that would be helpful. Once I hear from him about a lot of these, I'll just forward it to you, Diana, and you can forward to the group, um, just so that once we know answers to these, cause I agree, Sherry, and then hopefully we can come up with some follow-up questions from there. And I will clean up the spreadsheet and send it around with your assignments okay i can i can take anything but can i uh get west street since i've been doing a lot of the walking tour stuff <laughs> i guess so courtney irene's not here to fight you for it so <laughs> <laughs> um just really quick i know it's not what we're supposed to be talking about but what's the situation with the walking tour is it when is it supposed to be off into the ether mm -hmm. Um, I sent it. Did, Dragon, did you get the my email? Yes, and I have <laughs> not gotten to review it. Thank you for the prompting. 
you haven't had time to read 80 pages i i made it like 17 and then i was like okay. i i haven't circled back but i'm gonna put it on my agenda tomorrow's very full but i'll put it on for thursday okay <laughs> i'm very glad <laughs> i'm glad because it gives me more time too <laughs> so thank you for not oh doing right that. yeah yeah i wanted to finish it um Okay, good. So it's not, it hasn't been sent to print yet. That was my. No, not yet. Okay. Um, I will just say that we either have to have everything wrapped up by May, or if we don't think we will, by February, we have to go back to CPA and ask for an extension. No, we'll have it done by May. Okay. That includes the driving tour. That remains to be seen, but we're going to do our best out here. Okay. And it's not a big deal if we have to ask for an extension. It's just we need to be ready yeah. to do that. Okay. Has anything come up since Thursday? I haven't gotten any emails. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. All right, then if that's everything for now, um, we'll be in touch electronically um, about homework and Brown is gonna reach out to Chris with our questions for now. And other than that, we will meet again on November 19th with a full robust agenda um, that hopefully we can move through efficiently. Sure. All right, uh, any final thoughts? Have a good Halloween, everybody. <laughs> There's no trick or treaters here. I'm yeah, going to be a journey. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> they all go to the neighborhoods now. Yeah. They do when my kids were little, too. So It's a lot of walking in my area for not much. <laughs> uh, we would drive around, see all, the, all our neighbors. Most of them are dead now. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, all right, Sherry, move to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Great. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Motion carries. Thanks, everybody.